Did you notice how much and how often you look to your mind for answers? It's a lot, right? You're looking to it constantly. Tell me what to do. Tell me about this. How do I do this? And does it have an answer to most of the questions that you're posing to it? Now, it'll tell you that it does. And a lot of stuff, what it'll do is it'll give you a bunch of information. But when you really stop and examine it, when it throws a bunch of information at you, how useful is that information? Is it really usable for you to take action and get it done? Or do you find yourself stuck and not knowing what to do with it and how to actually act on it? Right? So that is what you get when you use your mind. It's a very limited mechanism. Whereas when you let go of that mind, you start accessing something that's far more expansive and far more powerful. Now also, notice how when you're in your mind and you're using your mind to try to run your life and solve your problems, notice how much it captures and captivates your attention with thinking. And as we began this whole course, by examining your thinking, you see how detrimental that is to you. In fact, Lester had a saying. He said, thinking is stinking. And you see, the more you're into thinking, the more lost you are. And you're on automatic. No free will. Just running like an automaton. You're lost. You can see that in yourself and you can see that in others. And by the way, I want you to keep this practice of keeping yourself present in the moment. Focusing on your breath. Focusing on quiet. And observing your thoughts. And you'll see how much you get involved with thoughts. And however much you get involved with thoughts, you're asleep. It's like you're dead to the world. Whereas the more present you are, the quieter you are, you're awake, you're alive, you're intuitive, you're positive. Just practicing this. Keep it up. And more and more, you'll see this radical difference between when you use your mind and when you're in quiet. So this exercise that we did with letting go, figuring it out, it, it could show you how much you're using your mind and how it's a big habit. And you got to let go of it. Seriously. So let's do a little bit of letting go right now. All right, so just see if there's something that you're burning to have an answer for. You just got to have an answer. Maybe there's something that you want to be successful in in your life. You got to find out how to do it. And notice what you're doing. Where are you looking for that answer? Are you looking for it in your mind? If so, see if that's going to get you anywhere. Or is that just going to keep you stuck? And remember, the mind is creative. And you've got to examine your thinking, what you're holding in mind. So, can you see that by looking for an answer, what you're holding in mind is you don't have one. 
and you actually end up creating a situation of lack. This is something we're going to be exploring further on this session here. But look at it now. You see yourself creating the problem as you're trying to resolve it. But it's simple and it's clear right now. Your mind doesn't have the answer. So could you let go of looking in your mind? Could you let that go a little bit more? Just a decision. Let go. You're doing it. Just let go of doing it. It's just a decision. Yes or no. Could you let go of wanting to know? Could you let that go a little bit more? And a little bit more. And even more. And could you let go of needing to know what the answer is? And more. And even more. Could you allow quiet to bring you the answer? Of course, your mind doesn't like that. It says, well, what does quiet have? Quiet's not going to get you anything. you got to rely on me. That's how your mind talks to you. But by now, you're starting to see your mind is a liar. It doesn't have an answer for you. Actually, it does have an answer for you. Its answer is, beat yourself up. Now, how great is that? So, going to your mind for an answer is totally useless. In fact, it's even detrimental. Because what you get out of it is negativity, and you go backwards. So could you let go of needing to know what the answer is? Could you let go of asking your mind? And let that go even more. And can you get in touch with quiet? Just pose that question over to quiet. See, when you give that question to quiet, it's like offering it over to quiet without any expectation of getting something in return. Just, you just hand that question over to quiet. And if an answer comes back, great. If not, great. But you got nothing to lose because your mind doesn't have the answer anyway. So hand it over to quiet. And just get in touch with quiet now. Feel your legs. Feel your arms. Feel your shoulders. Feel your neck. Feel the top of your head. And become aware of your breath right now in this moment. Breathe in. in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. And could you trust quiet? And trust quiet some more. And more. And see, in trusting quiet, really it's just a letting go. A letting go of the tension and the distrust of quiet, the fear that maybe you won't get anything. So notice that there's any sort of tightness or contraction that's a resistance to quiet. Bring your awareness here. If you feel any sort of tension, any contraction, open up. 
Allow that energy to leave. And more. And even 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 more. And notice how spacious quiet is. As we go through this course, we're going to be exploring quiet in very profound ways and discover some amazing things about quiet. And you don't have to believe anything that I say. Just check it out for yourself. But right now, notice how spacious it is. There's no limit to quiet. It has no boundaries. And notice how quiet is ever-present. Quiet is always here. Even when there's noise and commotion all around you, even when there's noise and commotion going on in here, it all happens in this field of quiet. Every noise, every single noise, rises out of quiet and eventually falls back into quiet. Quiet is ever-present. Just notice that. And that'll help you begin to trust quiet more, just knowing that it's always here for you. And notice how quiet never tells you to beat yourself up. Never tells you you're not good enough. Quiet is only positive. Just notice that. And by contrast to that, notice how limited the mind is. See, the vision of the mind only extends so far. The mind only knows what, is, what it has experienced. See, all it is is a recording and playback device. That's it. So the only thing that the mind has in it is just past recordings. So if you want to break through that barrier, that limitation of the mind, you must set that mind aside. Could you let go of resisting quiet even more? And surrender to quiet. Just let go. Put your trust in quiet. And a little bit more. And notice, nothing awful has happened. You haven't gotten destroyed in this place of quiet. You haven't disappeared. In fact, the more in tune you are with quiet, the more alive and awake you are. 